This is going to be a mini hurricane swirl soap. I uh, did a video of the mini hur hurricane swirls a while back. I'll put a link to that video below. These were made starting out with a column pour that I then radially swiped and then did the uh, uh, mini hurricane spirals in the individual uh, bar spaces. Some of those bars turned out pretty well, these in the picture. Others had much less well-defined of a spiral. And I figured out while doing that, or actually afterwards, that the best spirals came from the bars on which the, uh, the swirls or the stripes before I spiraled them were most close to being parallel straight lines. Well, since then, I've made several batches of the ultra thin line swirl soap. The one on the left also has a video here. I'll put a, a link to that below. I did not do a video of the one on the right, but in making it, it occurred to me that if what I want for the mini hurricanes is a lot of relatively parallel, rel relatively straight lines, this would be a good starting point. So what I'm doing today is making an ultra thin line swirl soap and then once the bar dividers are in, uh, adding the mini hurricane spiral on top of that. My recipe is 4% castor oil, 20% coconut, 33% lard, 20% palm, 23% high oleic sunflower oil. That should give a very slow moving, uh, good quality soap, should have lots of time to work on it. And um, the palm, by the way, is uh, RSPO sustainable. I'm going to be adding uh, some sugar to uh, make it a little bit sudsier and also to slow down the trace somewhat, and then some sodium lactate to uh, uh, harden the soap a bit. And then I'm going to be using Ceylon Black Tea Fragrance Oil from Oregon Trail Soap Supply. That's an absolutely de delicious smelling fragrance that does not accelerate, it doesn't discolor, it should work very well. The base color is going to be a pale kind of sky blue using Caribbean blue mica mixed with winter white mica. And then I'm going to have uh, stripes of a deeper Klein blue and a uh, kind of a teal using hydrated chrome green oxide. So um, those are my colors. I think I have everything here ready. That's uh, really important when you're doing a complicated swirl that may harden up on you. You don't want to have to go looking for a tool. So I've got my lye water with um, sugar and sodium lactate already in it. It's probably a little over 100 degrees. My oils, um, which uh, are also a little over 100 degrees. The fragrance oil supposedly does not uh, accelerate, but just to be absolutely certain, I'm not going to put it in until later. I have uh, spatulas, a ladle, a um, chopstick for stirring. Got my three colorants. These are uh, wet with some of the uh, high oleic sunflower oil, uh, which was part of the recipe. Uh, that's not any extra oil. And then I have uh, alcohol here for spritzing when we're done, and my mold, and I've got uh, bar dividers I'll be putting in. So I think this is ready to go. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I need here, and I don't believe there is. As often happens when you use commercially packed lard, um, it often turns a little pink when you first mix it, and that will go away very soon. And as I've been doing lately, I'm hand whisking this. Uh, this is a slow moving recipe anyway, so I may be whisking <laughs> pretty much forever here. And if that's the case, I'll either edit that out of the video or I'll fast forward it. This is uh, Klein Blue Mica from Nurture Soap. It's a nice deep blue. There's a teaspoon of it there. I'm going to make about a cup of batter. This is hydrated chrome green from Brambleberry, Brambleberry to give kind of a, a blue green color. Those are going to be the stripes. And then the base color is uh, Caribbean blue from Nurture Soap with a little bit of winter white mica also from Nurture Soap mixed in to lighten it even more. 
and um, there's a total of three teaspoons of the, the Caribbean blue and one teaspoon of winter white there, which will be the great majority of this batter. So hopefully that'll give a nice light baby blue. This is uh, not yet a trace, but it's definitely emulsified. It's becoming a little bit viscous, so I'm going to ladle out my colors at this point. I said I was going to use a cup. I'm using about a cup and a third there. For this method, I want this to be at light trace so that the stripes are clearly defined, but I don't want it so hard that the colors float on top of the base batter, so I'll have to catch it at the right time. So this um, uh, teal is a little bit darker than I think would be ideal, so I'm going to add a little bit of winter white mica to it just to lighten it up. Hopefully that'll give a better shade of green. With the winter white mica, you can do that. You can put it dry into soap batter. I've tried that with titanium dioxide and that's a bad idea. You end up with little white rocks floating around forever in your soap batter, unless you use a stick blender or something like that, but this works. I think at this point I'm going to add the fragrance. This is still very thin batter. I think I'm going to end up whisking it for a while still. I think this is ready now. Um, I've been whisking it for several more minutes since the video stopped. Ceylon black tea fragrance smells just delicious. Now, what I want to do is have color on the edges and then so I'll do a green down this side. This is still pretty thin. I think I'm going to wait a while. 
Okay, this has been several more minutes and I'm hoping it will work now. I'm going to try to hold the picture very close. Yeah, that's making a nice stripe. So I'm going to put my first blue stripe here. So I want another green stripe here and then I'll end with a blue stripe. I don't really care if this is not a perfectly straight line. like that. I'm also not opposed to this sinking in at first until I can pour enough of it out of this pitcher that I can really tip the pitcher to where it won't sink in as much. As you may not be able to see very well what I'm doing right now since it's on the camera side. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to use the handle on the spatula, which is nice and wide, and do the ultra thin line swirl. For this you just go back and forth over and over, moving over maybe an eighth of an inch each time. I might go a little lar larger than that because I don't care if these lines aren't ultra thin, but I do want them fairly thin. I still probably could have waited a little longer on this. It's still quite thin. Okay. I think I like that. Now I'm going to use the pointy end of a, a chopstick to make the, the hurricane spirals.
I think I like that. So I'll spray that with alcohol, put the lid on, and um, let it harden, and we'll look at it tomorrow. The soap is now about 24 hours old, and I'm pretty much pleased with the results. Got some nice spirals. And then these are ends and sides. And then bottoms. Um, these don't show as much of a pattern. You can see a little bit of the green got through, but it didn't, most of the color did not go all the way to the bottom. So. I had to pick my favorite, I think it would probably be that one. And uh, I'm pretty much pleased with that.